to Vegas Views. I'm Nicole Vegas. And I'm your co-host, Dre Davis. And I'd like to give a shout out to Maria Preza through Social Media Shows Network. Check her out on Spotify. And also you can uh, do a sponsor through Vegas Views. Shout out Maria Preza. And today we have our special, special guest here, Noel G. Well, well. He's in the house. Uh, Welcome. I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time because I know you are busy. No, it's love. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, so I appreciate you so much. Um, I know that you um, do a couple uh, conventions. You just went through one. Can you yeah, we did a diecast Hot Wheel convention. It was over there at the Ahern Hotel in Las Vegas. It was off the hook. How'd that go? It was good. Yeah. We had a lot of people yeah. there. We had, um, we, who did we have, Johnny? Ron we, Perlman. Yeah, Ron Perlman. Oh, we had uh, the voice of Optimus Prime, the voice of Optimus oh, Prime, cool. Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant, oh, that's right, GI Joe. Uh, we had a lot of heads there. It was cool. It was cool. Nice. A lot of Hot Wheel cars. It was a cool convention. I think you're doing something. I'm tripping September. out because I'm watching myself back yeah. in time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, back here. Yeah. I'm like everything. Just tells you when to sit up straight. That's all. I'm like that's not yeah, my feel like time right there. Yeah, yeah. No problem. You, you guys can't see what I'm talking about, but I'm like in the future right now. Yeah. But yeah. Like, <laughs> right. We're here with the cameras <laughs> back there, so we see ourselves. Right, right. Thank you for explaining. So it doesn't make us sound like he's crazy. Like we're in the future. All this equipment we got from Mexico, we good. You're from Cali, but you spend a lot of time in Vegas. Uh, it's yeah, it's like my yeah. second home. Exactly. Too much damn time in Vegas. More than I need to. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's how we... You can never say too much. No, I mean, no, but I love Vegas. Vegas yeah. is my spot. I know you have yeah. something coming up, too, because I'm going to buy tickets out there. You have a table in California, I think, in September. Somewhere in California, there's a convention. You're too far ahead for Is me. it too far remember. ahead? I don't okay. know. I can't but remember yesterday. Like <laughs> an art show that you're doing? Or, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. There's a horror museum that just opened up in Ontario. It's making some noise. Okay. It's pretty cool. You walk through it. It's like they got the Freddy Krueger display, the Jason Voorhees mm -hmm. display, Michael Myers. So they're doing a pop-up show over there. Cool. So, yeah, they're bringing us out. What are you going to be doing? Are you going to be scaring people? Uh, we're just going to be chilling, yeah. Okay. We might be yeah. Part, yeah, yeah. We might be scaring people in the police costume that he showed me. Uh, you had a police role recently. Uh, Oh, yeah, no, don't bring that one. That's classified information, I know. I was looking like chips on that one. Oh, that was great. It was great. I was like, what? Is that really you? But you didn't have that. I, I wanted to switch up character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I went great. a whole nother route. I went yeah. a whole nother route. I, like it. I can't wait. I'm going to rent that. It's, I you can rent it now, right? Yeah, you can get it now. It's on okay. Amazon Prime. It's called The Psycho's Path. So if you, ever wanna, if you ever want to see a whole different role other than what I always play, watch okay. that movie and you'll check out. Don't You'll be like, that ain't no well. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, no that's lost. That's lost. That's all good. I ain't got it for it. I ain't got it for it. Well, you know, you look fly today. We see you got your Raiders gear on. We're from Vegas. And we, this is swap me clothes. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is swap me. It's straight off the table. <laughs> Dang. Where can they go buy that? Swap me out here? <laughs> Any swap me you want. Any swap me you go to has some Raider stuff, mandatory. I, I see that um, you have uh, some of your crew with you, too. I know mm -hmm. I got to meet some through that Franklin Brothers Haunted Houses that you got to Like uh, I said, experience. you invite one Mexican, we bring ten. Bring we all came in the same car. That's just how it works. Really, really good group. All ten of yep. us came in a two-seater car. two-seater car, yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, he's, he's, he's teasing everyone for the new viewers. No, they, they took like, it serious. They took it serious. Yeah, they did no, take it. They're, they're messaging right now. Oh, Maria, really? You only have the two-seater? Um, I saw him pull up. He was pulled the two-seater. What's life if we're not having fun, right? I also want to give a shout-out through, um, you were on uh, the Mahal's Productions, uh, Bermuda Island. Oh. Yeah, that that's was... where we all met. Well, that's I right. That's where right. I met. Oh, that's right. Is that where yeah, we all? Well, we all oh, met. Yeah, I, the... I knew her previously, but we all. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. That was it. You know what? That is something. He was getting handcuffed. That's nothing new. That's nothing new in my world. But yeah, I, I got to see behind the scenes, and you yes. really did well. Uh, you yeah. got into the character. No and, um, effort. Yeah. No effort. <laughs> Let me give you a hundred. Hold up. You, oh, okay. you blow me up. I'll take you. Right? No, no, that's I'm not like, how yeah. we're born. But if you give me a hundred, I yeah. give Maria a hundred. It's all like, good. I don't want to hate them. They're all counterfeit, but yeah. Hey. <laughs> they're made at Johnny's Toy See, Store. You started to open that can up with, uh, they're going to have their hands out. I'll be like, Johnny, pop in here for two seconds. Yeah, two seconds. Just jump right here. Just get right here. Behind us, right here. Just for two seconds. Right. Two seconds. Right. This way, this way, so we can see him. You guys recognize this cat right here? Let's see. Let's see. He's not showing up yet. He's not showing up. Five, four, three, two, eight. That's how it works. Yeah. This opening right here is from Toy Shack, Pawn Star Show. 
the toy expert. He got his uh, toy store on Fremont Street. Fremont Street. It's called Toy Shack. You got to go check it out. Check out Toy Shack. Yeah, Whatever you heard, it isn't true. So. There's one spot that it's 18 and over, and you got no, I'm playing. <laughs> no, it's all collectible toys. It's like, all collectible toys. Vintage toys. Co toys and stuff? Yeah, yeah, so we put the convention together uh, with CJ and a few other guys, and then we had all the Mattel guys in town, and it was a great convention, so we're just doing it bigger and better. It's like our 12th or 13th year, 13th okay. year doing it. So, so it's been, it's been a great So event. is there an upcoming event that I can share, and then I can tag, and then share it through the various groups of um, you know people that travel to Vegas? We're always doing a ton of events. My store's on Fremont uh, Toy Shack. We're at Fremont Las Vegas Boulevard. So we're open until uh, midnight on Friday and Saturday. Oh, yeah. Bring yeah. Toys in. Bring toys in so I can see. I'll bring some more. Oh, yeah, bring you do got one in the car. Yeah. Keep you do real. got one in the yeah. car? Yeah, yeah we're, we're toy is nuts. It a, is so. it it's something oh. that's... Uh, like a safe toy? Like, I don't know. Of course. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. 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 I'm just making sure. Nicole. Nicole's a freak. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not a responsible person. <laughs> 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 I'm not a responsible person. I want to make sure that I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. The viewers. I have to be straight. We're keeping it clean. We're keeping it clean. It's collectible toys. It's like Star Wars, Terminator, Indiana Jones. It's like collectible toys. He gets a lot of props from movies, stuff like that. Yeah, because okay. seeing you at the Days of the Dead event, you didn't have a table there. Did you know about the Days of the Dead event? That's one of my, I, I really oh, love going to that event, yeah, supporting yeah. it. Anything that's going on downtown, we try to support it, but it was it's a fun event. We yeah. love going. So your events, like how can we know about them earlier? Uh, we'll have to just include you in and put it Facebook? on your guys' social media, okay. so we'll definitely inform you guys anything else that's Well, it's advertised all over the place, too, okay. so I mean, yeah. you just got to catch it if you catch yes, it. Yes, yeah. yeah. So next time you do have a group event, it's please make it. a group event <laughs> invite and I'll, I'll invite right. 100%. thousands of people because yeah. a lot of people don't know. There's so many different platforms, so a lot of people then get missed. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's sad. We were just saying that it, when you live in Vegas, you always find out about the events the day after the Facts. events. Right. Unfortunately. Facts. So, uh, and and it, the events that we do, most of them are very family friendly. So okay. Well, it's great. Kind of so you bring your kids out and oh, hang sure. out and do a lot of that kind and of stuff. spend a lot of money. Been a lot of money. Yeah. And, and, and you don't have to just have cash. You have the cards and everything too. Because sometimes course. some events are just cash and some are. Yeah, we don't do credit checks. We're Mexican. We take yeah. anything. Don't worry about it. Good. Cash up. Cash up. We, we don't care what. It, we'll take identity theft. It's not. Yeah. Like, no, no, he you know won't. I mean? He's just kidding. He's but just kidding. You guys deal with that later. <laughs> kidding. Yeah. Everything has to be legit. Don't be doing anything. You all take payment arrangements. <laughs> oh, layaway. <laughs> Man, she went deep. She said you do layaway. <laughs> <laughs> it depends how much the debt payment is first. <laughs> that's what I mean. But there is a lot of, can you share anything that's coming up, upcoming projects, um, anything to put a spotlight on? Um, is there any characters also that you would ever want to try out that you haven't tried? Uh, there's a movie that I just did recently. It's called Locksmith. It just came out about two weeks ago. Okay. Check that one out. It's with uh, Ryan Phillippe, Kate Bosworth, Ving Rhames. Uh, Where can we watch it? Uh, you can watch it pretty much anywhere. Okay. It's out. And then um, another one called Paradise City with John Travolta and okay. uh, Bruce okay. Willis. One of Bruce Willis's last movies. Uh, so, special. yeah, my heart and prayers out to Bruce special. Willis for what he's going through. Yeah, it's prayers. And then um, just did a movie with Quavo, Migos. Uh, so that's going to be coming okay. out soon, too. So check that one out. Yeah. And um, Oh, and The Mayans, season five. That's going to be... Off the hook, check out the Mind Season 5. We're coming back hard. Uh, okay. We're in the middle of filming that right now. <laughs> yes. And, uh, Working hard. Trying to, trying yeah. to. And the checks are clean, so yeah, I'm all right. Okay. Oh, nah, okay. but, uh, that was my next question. Yeah, right? I know. Right? No, nah, I'll play it. But uh, no, nah, it's a blessing just to be able to stay working. So, yeah. yeah. But those are some things you can check out right now. And then we got some things popping off uh, that we're doing. Me and Johnny actually produced two movies. Uh, that you can watch uh, Psycho's Path and uh, Ditch Party. We're already gearing up to get, uh, produce our third movie. So there's some stuff that's popping up. And then expansion on the store. He just opened up a new comic store. Yeah, Henderson. Um, and Henderson. Yeah. So You were going to share that. He had to share it. Like I know, no, 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 no. I'm setting them up. I'm setting up the platform. I'm setting up the platform. I'm setting up the platform. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He just bought a comic book store. Yeah. That's uh, dope. And he took over it. So I love we, a good comic book. We just yeah. opened that up two months ago, and there's some collectibles <laughs> up in there too. Okay. So stuff is moving, and then we got the Amazon deal that's popping off, yeah. which is uh, actually in this building, which is funny. This building got 168 rooms, and uh, <laughs> 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 no, I'm <funny>. <laughs> 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 
But Johnny Johnny got 164 of them. And long story short, <laughs> did not play it. But we got some stuff popping up, so stay tuned. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram, actor Noel G. Stay in touch with me there. And uh, yeah, let's get it. You're gonna be busy. You are getting it. We're trying. I remember you telling me you're saying I'm busy, and then you're like showing me chairs with your name and John DeVolta's name. Like, well, Nicole's (laughs) all over the place. So I met a homegirl doing a movie, and my homegirl right here doing a movie. (laughs) We were in the same movie Mm -hmm. with our hearts and prayers out to Tom Sizemore's family right now. That was a. I did six, seven movies with Tom, and uh, this one hit hard because he was actually really, truly a personal friend. Um, The last time I talked to Tom. It was crazy. He, it was about two months ago. Mm-hmm. He asked me to uh, do his acting class for him. Yeah, because oh, he was. He invited he, me to that. He was he was filming a movie, mm-hmm. and he couldn't. And I do acting classes as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah. So a long story short, he wanted me to take over. That was the last time we oh, talked. He never wow. got back to me. But um, I've seen Tom and his ups and downs, and mm-hmm. you know, right. good dude. So yeah. good yeah. dude, crazy dude, but a good yeah. dude. Talked to him last was Very last good month. He wanted and to uh, and a hell of an actor. You know, I'm sorry, I don't want to cut you off. For I real. Know, I there, but I did talk to him last month, and so, and then all of a sudden, uh, like two days later, it was just it was so soon that um, it hit me to my core because the hardest part is when they had to pull the plug, yeah. and it lasted for days. I had that happen with my father, so the, the yeah. process of that is mm-hmm. not good. It's oh, um, wow. so well, losing really the life period sucks. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, and, it's just... and, 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 and to circle back around with Bruce Willis, that would have been the only one that um, I, I was giddy over. I would have been security. I would have grabbed oh, him and like, shh, yeah. to his lips, like, shh, it's okay. <laughs> 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 but now I don't have to worry. He doesn't have to worry. His family doesn't have to worry. See, what, yeah. it worked out. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, Bruce was Bruce is a good guy, man. He was, yeah, yeah, it was hard. That was only it was hard good. seeing him like that, you know, because he was an action star, and he's, you know what I mean. And so yeah, but um, yeah. I've, I've seen it. I haven't back. seen it all because I never see it all till the day I die. But even when I die, I haven't seen it all. But I've seen a lot, and uh, yeah. Like, an emotional, an emotional yeah. moment for the podcast. An emotional moment for the podcast. Uh, but we do what pay for respects Absolutely. and that uh, oh, 100, 100. Um, I know you're in here for. Uh, so that's some stuff days. that's popping off right yeah. there. Yeah. Five, five more days then. So he's good yeah, here for a good days, time, yeah. not a long time. I got. I'm here what for. What else like, are you doing here? I'm here for three more days. Okay. We got some meetings and just some stuff we're pushing, and then at the same time, some playtime in between. Yeah. yeah. You know, I when you in Vegas, yeah. they got to be party slash be business. Party. It's Vegas. That part. You know what I mean? Part. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. That's mandatory. I live by that. I live by that quote. I seen a a quote one time, and I love the quote. It said. Don't be so busy building a career, you don't make a life. That part. And so that that's well, it. So I mean you gotta have yeah. fun. You gotta you gotta balance it. How you know do you do that? that? You gotta balance. You gotta balance. But you know, know what? I mean? Last year I started I was just I wanted to work, 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 work. And then I'm like, this year I'm taking trips, I'm having fun. I you wanna work to. still, but yeah. I still wanna have fun. You got to. You got. Yeah. I mean, uh, the the one mistake that people make respectfully is uh time, you know. Mm-hmm. People think that they have a lot of time and really you you don't. You you don't know how much time you do or don't have. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Um, people can go just like this, or a disease can pop up on you right away. God forbid, God forbid. But I'm just saying, just don't be so busy building a, a career you don't make a life. So that's all I was. Because it is very consuming in this industry, yes. and so that balance is key. The thing is, when you're new. I've been two years now. In you this. fresh out the gate. Yeah. Fresh, but they're I'm impressed. Out. I am impressed with this one. Oh, yeah. she, she, she just got started. She just got started in business two years. I've been in business over thirty years, and this girl has already been like two years in, and it's like she's been in the business for fifteen but, 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 years. But, 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 you know what I'm saying? But, I trip out. You know how to balance it, and I'm not. So that's the thing is. <clears> well, there's some stuff I was trying to teach oh, you offline. Like, you can't, I don't know, but I was like, some stuff you gotta. I wasn't listening. I'm just like, I'm going to do this yeah. my way. Yeah. And you're like, Nicole, I'm telling you. I'm like, I'm She'll not learn. listening. She'll learn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what would you say? She'll learn. No, right. I saw you filming, too, on Fremont. We bumped into you over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did with Obliterated. Yeah, yeah. that was, uh, yeah. it was cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I know, <laughs> so I was I know. like, one of those cold nights. Cold and, uh. Yeah. You were shivering. I know. I that, that was one of the times when that, um, I saw that, uh, guy. Um, exposing himself. So, you know, yeah, just uh, memories. Yeah, well, that's welcome, welcome that's to Fremont. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah, actually that's welcome to Vegas because that can happen yeah. anywhere, not anywhere. just Fremont. I mean, I mean, at least anywhere. anywhere. In, in Vegas, Florida, anything Florida. goes, yeah. Oh, no, no. It's, it's, um, <laughs> Vegas and L.A. keep up. Yeah. No, for sure. They're sisters. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're second cousins. It, but I mean, <laughs> there is. So there's a lot going on now, and I'm starting to make more connections, and I would love to have you part of a feature film. So another one, if I can't get you on this one, 
I, I would love to connect that <coughs> way. On um, there's going to be other ones. They won't be here in Vegas, but there'll be ones in like Texas that are um, bringing to fruition. Um, yeah. But I just have to get past this one first because my mind. It's like mushy right now. There's oh, something wow. is not working. It's like it's broken. No, it's, so. it's good what you're doing because that's your best teacher. You know, it's yeah, just you gotta sure. just put a film under your belt. Mm-hmm. You'll learn so much in that process, and it, and that will be your college education course right there. But yeah, I, I want to be an yeah, asset on set. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm just in front of the camera. I want to learn behind the scenes too. So yeah. so I'll give you a I'll give you a, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a true story and I'll make it quick. So I had the pleasure of meeting George Clooney uh, one time on Warner Brothers set, and I asked him a question because I always like to ask people that I work with or advanced, you know, this one question. I say, if you had one piece of advice for an actor, what would it be? And out of all the other people that I've asked, I love George Clooney's answer the best. He said, I would know everything about cameras, craft service, wardrobe, the trailers, even down to the grips. Because when you know a piece, at least about everything, he goes, no one can run game on you. Ooh, I love that. So, so I was. <laughs> so I that, love that. That was my no, thing. No, honestly, treat and that's true. Good, that's too. true. That you yeah. know what? Yeah, you, you have to treat everyone the same too. Yeah, if you have a piece of knowledge, that, yeah. if you got if you got a piece of knowledge of everything, at least you know something about that, 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 and this. Yes. And if someone comes in, tries to overcharge you or step mm-hmm. on you or do some dirt, mm-hmm. you at least got some knowledge to know, like, nah, that ain't right. Thank you. That, I think that's good for actors you know that what are I mean? watching too. Solid yeah. piece of advice. And yes. that definitely I take no credit for that. Yes. That's George, that George Clooney said it. But, but you're it spreading stuck the with word me. For sure. but, it, but it stuck with me ever yeah. since. And I was like, all right, cool. Thanks, man. I agree. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah. hard in this industry because I didn't always like, oh, I want to be this. I went two years ago. I was like, oh, let me see what this is about. And I was like, oh, it should be easy. I thought in my, thought in my head it was going to be easy. Mm-hmm. And it was nothing but easy. And then they, <coughs> I did get my first tap hardly. And they apparently, they was, oh, they that's awesome. the young guys. Yeah. So I did go to Warner Brothers, the clean lady. I go, is this, is this a cougar scene? I was very confused by it. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the guy was giving me a smoldering. <coughs> I was like, I'm going to your mother's age. I said, don't even get fresh with me. I thought, I'm going to hold your arm because they're saying to go to Mark II. I don't, what are they saying? I reset. What are they? Yeah. So it's all normal. I had no idea. 12 hours. But um, they liked the look. And at first I'm like, What's, what, what do you mean look? Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, you know what? I didn't have any acting skills, especially back then. So I was like, you know what? Let's go. Let's go on that look. Let's let's, let's listen. <laughs> but then I wanted to learn the crew side because the crew side is where everything keeps running. For sure, it, it really yeah. is, and yeah. and the communication is key. And I, I was carrying like 20 cases of water each side. <coughs> and they're like, yeah. you couldn't see. That. I was like, ah, but I don't. Look at it. I don't know what's going on. It's taking a long time to get a muscle there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. You look good. But yeah, I, I am. I'm, I am excited. I, I want to pull everything. Yeah, you look together. good. Don't become one of the muscular chicks. Look yeah. like the Hulk. Like exactly. you're good. Like you're good. Voice, be like, yeah. hey, friend. Ah! Hey. <laughs> you didn't have a sex change, did you? No. Yeah, I, I had a mustache and you know, right. I'm good. I'll uh, pull my hair back I'll and plan wear a man bun. Let's get a different one. Yeah, what's going on? But yeah, there's just I I, I want to be able to. And, connect with you more now that I'm learning it. But when you I met, I, I wouldn't know. I had to find out things for myself. Mm-hmm. I have to. That's the only way I learn is me learning sometimes the hard way too. I yeah, have to learn it because then I'm aware of it. Oh yeah, want me to move this down a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Your, your best teacher is being on set. Is being in the middle of the action. You know what, I learned that. Oh, you know, wait, so, 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 so this, this is funny, funny right? So not to cut you, I apologize. Johnny. You, so when you produced produce the movie Psycho's Path with me, yeah. he, he got, got to see firsthand what it really was. It was funny because he was only going to be there for two days, and he ended up staying with me throughout the whole shoot, helping me out. But, but share one experience <laughs> that you learned the first time really helping from behind the camera. Like, just was there anything, anything that stuck out, out to you in Psycho's Path that you did that was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was just there, all hands on deck, wherever they needed me. I just was. Uh, any, any position, position I could fill, I was there, and, and we're working 18, 18 20, 20 hour days nonstop for two, two three weeks. <laughs> and and, 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 and people, people, I didn't realize how. I mean, with, with, with the Pawn Stars, stars I, I understand that we we're filming for four hours, three to four hours for a five ten minute segment. So I kind of understand that part of it, but it's no comparison in movie production sound and lighting and then all of these things that can go wrong and happen and and that was the great thing that Noel had as far as experience is preventing hey we got to do this in case this doesn't happen because I've seen this held up production or delayed production or 
or completely cancel a movie because you know something goes wrong. So we had to be really careful. So he was always having me look out for certain things. But I learned a ton in our first movie and our second movie. And, and uh, but it was definitely a learning experience. And it's a college education, really. Does. And on, on and like, and like the better way of learning. Yeah. There's no better. That's why I wanted to learn. Because a lot of people like talk in this industry. <coughs> just talk. Yeah, yeah. 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 Call that out. Go ahead. Call that out. I don't have a problem. Um, but a lot of people only did it in front of the camera, and they're like, "Oh, how are you?" Being? I go, "I'm not just utilizing in front." I, I said, I, "You have to do behind the scene." So it's not just the PA work. That's a lot of work. Uh, I, 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 I don't mind. I'm in the toilets and, and I don't take out garbage. No, PAs hand down, they do a lot of work. I, I give it up to PAs, honest yeah. to God, because they are one of the most hardworking people on set to keep it honest. They got to yeah. run around and trailer to trailer. They're doing everything. Me, like, yeah. They, yeah, PAs, they, uh, they, in a sense, sometimes I feel like, man, you get taken advantage of, mm-hmm. you know, to keep it real, because I've seen some PAs just run and grind, and I'm like, damn, like, but, yeah. They definitely need more credit. But if you haven't done it, how are you going to respect somebody? I have to be in the positions I am in so I can understand the workload. Yeah. And then I can yeah. appreciate mm-hmm. the people that are in it. Or maybe they're not doing it right. So I'll look, you know what? Well, I have my job. <clears throat> that's why I tell people, you know, be an extra on set or a PA or yeah. whatever. Because you're right there in the middle of the action and you're going to learn mm-hmm. make the connections. And if you got the gift of gab, you know, that's the other catch. You know what I'm saying? That's how you can advance. So. And I, I think that if you try, like, stand in, stand in is like you're really there. So <coughs> you get to see behind the scenes, you're working right next to that actor, and it's just. Never done that one. Yeah, try stand in. I know a lot of stand ins who are now like, damn, okay. Yeah. Now they have the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stand in for I also see on set, if someone's struggling, and there's people that <coughs> just sit around because it's not their thing to fix, I will never work with those people. I will see the people that help step up. And want to help out the workload? Yeah. Those are my people. Yeah. So I, I pay really close attention. So when there's people that are like, "Oh, can you hook me up? I know you're doing this." I go, "I see what you did on your last set. Sit there while someone was struggling with something. That's not for you." So that's what happens in the two movies that me and Johnny did together. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the two movies. <laughs> The, there's one of our PAs right there. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. One of the, uh, the the two movies that me and Johnny did together. It was funny because some of the people we kept from the first movie and took them to the second movie. Mm-hmm. And that's how the family starts to build because you know who you can trust, who can do yeah. what, and who can't. So mm-hmm. makes perfect sense. I think so that's, that's right how it is. Yeah, um, amen. But then when they do see you do the work, <clears throat> then people are reaching out. Can you help me? I don't even know you. Let me see what you've done. I'm not doing all your work. <laughs> well, are- one of the best things that someone taught me in life, too, is uh, this. If you're one of those people who come to work and you say, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I forgot to do that email. I'm sorry I forgot to make that phone call. You just yeah. become a sorry worker. Yeah. Ooh, that's and no a good one. Wants, no, I like and it. no one wants to work that. with sorry people. They want to work with problem solvers. <laughs> yeah, not, I feel sorry for you. You got to go. Not, <laughs> not a liability. You want to be an asset. Too many <laughs> sorries makes you a sorry worker. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to use that next time. Twink, twink, so. we not sorry. You can have it. You can have it. I am. I can take it. I take it. I said I'm going to take it. I can give a heads up. Hey, Johnny's hiring and firing all the time, so he knows what the heck I'm talking about. This guy's cutting cutting people loose left and right. Is that hard for you to do? It's really hard in Vegas, too. uh, They say you got to get better at firing sometimes. Because it's hard. You get attached to employees, and you you want them to, like, do well. And then sometimes it's just, you know, they just... I think with the younger generation, they lack the ambition and, mm-hmm. and the structure that we had in our generation. All this generation has changed. Yeah. Some of the some of the younger generation, but you know, not all. Sometimes not you all find them. a needle on the haystack. Yeah. But some of their communication skills are just they're they're just not that great. And you know, I remember back in my days in the early days when I used to walk into stores and hey, how you doing? And you know, they were oh, talking. Yes. <laughs> Now yeah, it's nothing. That, yeah, you like, just walk in, they look at you like. Right, right. Like, damn, was I not supposed to walk in the store? <laughs> yeah, There's an open yeah, sign right, 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 right there. Right here. You know? Then it makes you not want to buy anything. You're like, you right, right. The next and that's bad for business. <clears throat> or not only that, to go meet a girl, you had to go have a slip like, to talk to your approach uh-huh. and get the number. Like, yeah, 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 right. <laughs> and now they look at you funny, which, like, what are you saying? <laughs> and then a lot of them, too, like, he was telling me their math, yeah. right? Their math is, like, horrible. Oh, yeah. It's really wrong with math? Math? No, no, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, when you're selling and stuff, you should at least know. Yeah. You should at least know add and subtract the yeah. basics. Well, you, you know, I'm not going to say 
know some people are bad. What's one plus one? Uh, it's seven. <laughs> <laughs> I think the blog is the exception. Give them the exception. The blog is the exception. They're bad at math, but the least a sign of in front of your establishment. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm here. Uh, did we touch a sensitive bone here? We did. We did. We failed three times in college. I was talking about the other people. The other people after the other people. I am definitely in that other group. That's okay, though. That's all right. You know, I love anybody that you can't do math. You're welcome in my. No, I, I get a lot better now, but I at least ought to add some track, you know what I mean? No, but I think that's, that's why we click. Yeah, is that like, <laughs> I don't have to talk sometimes. Sometimes I don't. I have a, I do talk to a lot of people. I like to know the people in the environment. I like to know what they're about. So that part is bringing the community together. So when, and you do a lot of platforms. You've been on a lot of uh, nonprofits. You've given back to so many people, and I love that you're able to have your platform give to so many people. I love that you're able to bring people in for a good time, to you know, take them away from whatever's going on in their house life, and to inspire them to do more and be more. So that part is really cool. Yeah, it, yeah. even locally, I, just this week I saw one of the kids that we talked to from Juvenile <coughs> Hall. So every Christmas and some of the holidays, me and Noel would go to the Juvenile Halls, and me and some other places out here. Like I've always fed them and. And talk to them and try to like you know yeah. give them some <laughs> advices but no one does a lot of that outreach to the schools oh, and, and the troubled youth you know to kind of give them some advice and, and i know in, in la you were with the church community out yeah. there and you always were talking about it is that what is that what got you started into it no the way we got started was um and i'll try to zoom through this story we had a company back in the early days and i'm talking 23 years ago and what we used to do is we used to take prisoners and thugs mm -hmm. and put them in movies and films and uh, because we wanted to make it more authentic. Yes. And one time I did a movie and it was funny, I had a lot of background people, but they, nothing against this or that, was, they looked like a bunch of Mexican surfers mm -hmm. and they didn't look like gangsters. And I was like, <laughs> so one day uh, I told the director, I said, can I bring some homeboys from my hood? And all I want you to do is look at my homies that I brought and look at what you hired. And so he hired all my homies. Uh, <laughs> He's like, we're going to use your people. Yeah. I was like, so we, that's where the idea okay. came out of. So we had this company called Suspect Entertainment, and we would just make, you know, the thug part in Hollywood look more authentic, mm -hmm. you know. But what happened was as we were um, starting to become known and, and, you know, we're getting bigger, um, we started getting called randomly from schools, boys and girls clubs. Mm -hmm and uh you know juvenile halls and they were calling us up and they were saying man you know it's so awesome how you guys turned your life around how you guys were you know once you know banging on the street and now you're doing movies can you share your story about how you okay. became and then that's how it but it was funny because when we first came in uh we had too many chiefs in the hen house mm -hmm. and we came in sloppy we didn't know how to do it we had like you know eight ten thugs we would all walk into high schools and we're talking and it was a horror show. It was a mess because, you know, he wanted to talk and he's interrupting him and we're interrupting. And sometimes he would say something, the other guy don't agree. Right. And it was, so, you know, finally when the company broke up, uh, long story short, um, because I uh, quote unquote, was one of the recognizable more faces, mm -hmm. I was called, you know, uh, by myself. That makes sense. Yeah, and then I started going out. So before you know it, you know, I started developing a reputation of, becoming a motivational speaker. Okay. And yeah. <clears throat> so that's how that. I can see that. Okay, that's, that, crazy. Yeah, that's, that's how it got started. I cut out a lot of fat trying to get straight to the bone yeah. on that. There's a lot more, but that's, you get the overall yeah, picture. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so ever since then, and, and I love it, you know, because um, that's one of the best parts of this business, you know, is how you utilize and use your platform. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And the way I want to use it and utilize it is by uh, encouraging and inspiring and motivating people mm -hmm. Letting people know that their dream that's, can become a reality. That's, where that's exactly what. And, and that's what that's I, that's what I like doing. So. Inspired to do as well. And I tell I tell I tell people, you know, I'm not saying I was the craziest in the streets. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying none of that, but I am saying been there, done that. Yeah. I was facing 15 years for attempted murder, armed robbery, assault with a deadly weapon. Mm -hmm. I did four years, uh, locked up. So I've been there, done that. Yeah. And, I, and this is the way I say it: If I'm a nerd and a dork because I want freedom and a family. I'd rather be a nerd and a don't dork with freedom and a family than a tough guy in a two-man exactly. cell. Yeah. So that because I don't care how tough you are, once you locked up, you find out that That's you ain't it. as tough as you, you thought. Not as tough as you thought you were. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. those are just little gold nuggets right there. But that's what you did. You you changed into a different path because you wanted better for yourself, and now 
you have it for yourself, you're also bringing it to other people. And that part's what gets me. I'm like, yeah, and if, you show, if they see <coughs> you doing that, especially young men that look up to you, they're going to take that route. So, well, what I, <clears throat> it's not about the money, it's about the heart. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying at the same time, you can do what you love and get paid for it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know that. You know, if you're an artist, you can put your art on shirts, you can put it on cars, mm -hmm. put it on walls, whatever, get paid for that. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids have to understand that their passion can become um, a, a career. Right, okay, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's yeah. like Shark Tank. You know, I love exactly. that show. Yeah, yeah, so people just got to <laughs> understand that, you know. But you develop a name and, you know, you just you just can't run everywhere around for free either. Right. So that that's what I try to explain mm -hmm. to people. I'm not Kevin Hart of the Rock, mm -hmm. but I get asked a lot yeah, to be sure. here, there, and there. <laughs> I just can't. And, and, you know, I've been very blessed to know a lot of business people who are very successful. I've been around billionaires, millionaires, and thousandaires. Mm -hmm. And nonprofit or profit, they both make money. Yes. Nonprofit is just a friendlier way of saying no money, but you're still making money. Mm -hmm. So that part I can care less. When someone says nonprofit or profit, I'm not I'm moved by the heart of what are you doing? Absolutely. Why? And I want to find out the yeah. reason, profit or nonprofit. Why? Yeah, so you know, you know you just learn you just learn things, you know. Mm -hmm. But I do want to say this one last thing, and I'm done. I, I always got to push this. I got to give it up to the man upstairs. I got no Praise shame, God. and I always say it straight out. Uh, put God first in your life, and the rest will work itself out. Yes. Jesus Christ, that's my hero. Everybody got a hero. You, you know, it might be Superman, the Incredible Hulk, Thor. My hero is Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ I just want to and say have that. faith. Yeah. I wanted to end with that. Yes, I love Thank that. You so Thank much you so for much for being here and um, very inspiring. I, I actually learned uh, more than I knew. <laughs> I was like, well, Nicole, you know homegirl. You know me. For, I love this girl right here. She's the reason why I'm here. I came through. This is my people right here. I love you too. And this, this is my brother, my brother. I was getting to you. I was saving the best for last. I was saving the best for last. Actually, Jump in here real quick. Come Jump in here. Yeah, come, come here. Come now you put yourself on the spot. Yeah. Now you get up in here. Get in here. Come on. Oh, don't trip on the way. Come here. Come here. Move it. This is the woman. This is the woman behind the camera who makes the magic happen. Don't worry. You'll pop up on the screen in 15 minutes. Three, two. We're here. good. This is the show. Here she comes. Here she comes. Watch this. Hold on. Here she comes. Here she comes. Hold up. She's coming out. I see it. It's building. So there's this screen behind that you guys obviously can't see. And everything that we're doing now Five, happens 10 minutes later. Four, so we're laughing because it's right there. I wish two, you could see it. I know. I don't know what's going on. This is all. Oh, I got to count. There she <laughs> is. Bam. This is Maria Perezza behind oh, that's a great Social picture. Media Shows Network and Vegas View platform. So if Check you, her out on yeah, Spotify, Spotify uh, YouTube, socialmediashows.com. <laughs> And, sure, I, I and now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be under platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that's the way. I go. The deal, that's right? the yeah, you close it. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Cool. You gotta be careful of this off. Yeah, gotta be yeah, careful here. Good. But yeah, until it's not. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's a free one. Relax. That's, that's, that's a free one. I got to put that. I got paid for that one. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this was definitely a fun, yeah. entertaining, knowledgeable show. We got a lot of information. Put us up on games. There we go. Thanks for having us. Love you guys. <laughs> yeah. And until next time, and follow me on my Instagram, actor Noel G. And my boy's Instagram is Toy Expert Johnny. Toy Expert Johnny. Toy that's Expert what's up. Johnny. We love you guys. Okay. This is Nicole Vega, and I'm Drea Davis. See you next week. Next week! Come in fast and furious now. <laughs>
in the process we've helped over 100 creators realize their dreams and start their own show we give platforms to promote your business if you are an artist if you have an event if you are entrepreneurs or if you have a story if you haven't done it yet go ahead and subscribe and follow us on major social media platforms and if you have a great idea of a show join us social media shows can help you produce and live stream your own show let us help you make your dream become a reality Hello everyone, this is Joseph Skoda with Social Media Shows. Well, I thank all of you for your support through these last several years, and it's been a lot of fun. We've given people a voice they never had before. Now, Social Media Shows is always collaborate with our veterans to help them do things and help out the veterans who are struggling today. And we teamed up with GI Connections, GI Connections, connecting veterans with resources. So please consider helping and donating to this great cause because we're always doing things for veterans. So GI Connections, social media shows, and you is what makes the world a better place. Once again, Joseph Skoda, proud United States Air Force veteran. streaming for four years across social media platforms. We produce over 70 shows with over 1,000 episodes. In the process, we've helped over 100 creators realize their dreams and start their own show. We give platforms to promote your business. If you are an artist, if you have an event, if you are entrepreneurs, or if you have a story. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe and follow us on major social media platforms. And if you have a great idea of a show, join us. Social media shows can help you produce and live stream your own show. Let us help you make your dream become a reality. Hello everyone, this is Joseph Skoda with Social Media Shows. Well, I thank all of you for your support through these last several years, and it's been a lot of fun. We've given people a voice they never had before. Now, Social Media Shows is always collaborate with our veterans to help them do things and help out the veterans who are struggling today. And we teamed up with GI Connections, GI Connections, connecting veterans with resources. So please consider helping and donating to this great cause because we're always doing things for veterans. So GI Connections, social media shows, and you is what makes the world a better place. Once again, Joseph Skoda, proud United States Air Force veteran. 